So it will be a programme that will be developing all the time. So we'll constantly be taking feedback from clubs, uh, from our staff, from players, from parents, from everybody. My name is Thomas McStravick. Um, I'm a UFAA licensed football coach. Um, my role within Playing for the Future is as a director, so I look at different programmes that we do and try and, um, try and engage with the local community. And this is one of the programmes that we came up with, with Firmish Anzi and also Youth League, um, to basically try and provide a programme that's not going, that's not happening at the moment. Yeah, well, there's a theory out there about the 10,000 hours of practice that you need to have throughout your lifespan, um, up until you're 17 or 18. Uh, so basically, we're there to try and provide as much training as possible to sit alongside their clubs. Um, so from that point of view it's really important um, and also providing um, additional coaching um, with people who are, are highly qualified and who have played the game before and who are experienced to try and help the clubs as well. Well I mean the, the more support you can get the better for, for kids especially at grass, grassroots level. Um, you know we need as a small country as many you know, young players coming through and helping our national team, uh, which is inevitably what it's all about. Well, I mean, I was I was fortunate that you know I, I went across the water and, and carved out a career. You know, there's a lot of players, you know, young players who possibly are, are, are good enough, but you know don't get that opportunity. Um, you know, so it's important now that they do get the right coaching. Um, you know, because of the way sort of football's progressed. Um, you know, and, and we want to we want to sort of do that from a you know a, a very early age you know grassroots level and um, try and improve them and get the best out of them. Um, so it's important that we have you know these type of, of, of events happening or leagues happening where, where we've got good sponsorship and good people behind the whole the whole process. So Farmers Energy got involved three years ago, and we decided to get involved because there was such an array of teams. We have 123 teams taking part every Saturday. And these are teams from the range from Armagh, Loch Gaul, Moira. It has teams involved where we bring natural gas, so it just makes perfect sense for us to, to get involved.